Hello guys and welcome back. So this is the first video in five of a mini-series that I've put together to give you some ideas as to how I progress certain shots in junior tennis players, in particular under eights. Uh, in this first video we're going to be looking at serve progressions. <laughs> videos have been designed to help tennis parents and tennis coaches to gain new ideas as to how they can help their children or their players to progress in certain shots. So I'll be covering the serve, the forehand, the backhand, rallying skills and match play skills to hopefully give you a nice well-rounded approach to how you can develop some of these swings. Now it's important to understand that before working on anything technical with a junior player you really need to make sure that they've got a base level of motor skills. Now what I mean by this is it's really important to work on receiving and sending skills. So lots of work on throwing and catching is crucial for a child to be able to track an oncoming ball and that could be done through rolling across the floor to introducing a bounce so that they can read the height and the depth of the ball but also lateral movement too to ensure that this child has a 360 degree approach to their tennis. Now if you jump into technique too early and you try to work on the forehand technique before they have the ability to read an oncoming ball and to catch it, then it's going to take a lot longer for them to develop the technique and even when they do develop the technique it's going to be quite fragile. So developing motor skills is crucial before any of these approaches. There are plenty of ways that you can develop technique in junior players. These are some of the ways that I like to progress the strokes. They aren't the only ways. And it's important to know that every single junior is different. The way that they learn, the, the way that they're built physically, and the way that they cope with information mentally too. So although these are quite simple ways of coaching, they're not gonna work for everybody, but hopefully they'll work for most people. So let's get into our first video, serve progressions. So as I mentioned before, usually before even putting a racket in the player's hand, we would be doing lots of work using just the tennis ball. So giving the child the ability to throw and catch above their head or throw and catch with their hitting arm will give them the opportunity when they get the racket to be much, much better. I wouldn't have time to do all of these in one video, so we're going to be looking at just the racket and ball skills. Giving a junior player success is vital for their enjoyment, so this first progression is very, very simple. I call it the scoop serve. The player will stand face on with their racket face pointing where they're aiming, all on the strings, and scoop. If you can, from this first progression, it's really useful to get your child using the chopper grip. And a very basic way of picking up the chopper grip is simply passing the racket to your partner edge side up. They'll be shaking hands with the racket and this will give them some resemblance of the chopper grip. It might not be perfect, but it will give them a good feel of how that chopper grip should feel. The next progression, you can see I put the line sideways on. So we want our player's shoes each side of the line and I call this one pop and push. So basically you're gonna get your player holding strings forwards again, tennis ball out in front. They're going to pop the ball up and push the ball forward. So pop and push. A good teaching point for this one is to make sure that they finish with a tip start so they're turning their hips to face the court. Go again, pop and push. So on this next progression we're going to stay sideways on but we're going to introduce a bigger swing. So we're going to call it the L serve. We're going to get our elbow at a right angle, our armpit at a right angle as well. We're going to pop the ball up, hit the ball over the net and finish in our opposite pocket. So here we go. You'll notice I'm still doing the tip stance at the end. L shape, pop and hit. One more. Our final progression is the full action. And I like to call this one chop your toes. So we're gonna start with our shoes each side of the line again, so sideways on. And we're gonna set up with our tip of our racket pointing 
forwards to where we're aiming. The reason we call it choppy toes is because we want the tip of the racket to brush past your toes here before you get to the L shape. Now an in-between progression that may help players to find the coordination chain is starting in the setup, chop your toes, L, throw, and hit. Once they get used to that motion of one, two, three, you can then make it into one action. So it will look more like this. Still looking for that tip stance at the end. One more. So, I hope you found those progressions useful. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll be posting a few more videos on the forehand, backhand, rallying skills and matchbook skills. See you soon.